Can anybody tell what team I'm rooting for? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Again, I'm sorry, I'm late. It happens. I'm a mum of two with almost another one, so I'm tired and a little bit stressed out, but I'm back here today to share with you guys a review on the new, well not so new, Benefit Mini Cheek Leader Palettes. I have got the two, I've got the Pink Squad and the Bronze Squad. So I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite and tell you guys which products I like, swatch them, share with you guys my thoughts, and overall give you a rundown of how I feel about these palettes. If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe and leave me some loving, leave me some comments. Let's say, yo, Joe, I like your accent. That's usually what I get most. All right, so let's jump into the video. Benefit released these two palettes, the Cheek Leaders palettes. Uh, I think they did back in February, and now that I'm in, what am I in? Oh my gosh, I'm in May now, so I'm a little bit behind. But I was really tossing up what to buy because I knew that I wanted one of these palettes and originally I was going to get one of the full size ones but I was like, you know what, I don't even want all those products out of the one, one of the full size ones so I think I'm going to split it out and shoot for the two mini palettes that cost the same as the full palette. So the two mini ones retail for $30 each. At the moment they are only available on Benefit's website which isn't a bad thing because you can still get free shipping it's not a bad deal and I do like it because they've split the products up from both the bronze squad palette and the pink what is this one called the pink squad unfortunately you're only getting half the size of the product that is in the large pan altogether I've got six products here and out in one large pan you only get five products and the brush I have heard that, that the brush is good and the products are full size but either way you look at it you're kind of paying the same amount for two of these as to one of the full size I am a Benefit newbie. I've never tried any of Benefit's products before and a real test of how good a company is to me is how good their customer service is. So I had a little bit of a hiccup when I went to go order these. I called Benefit to be like, yo, can you sort it out? So first of all, when I called them, it was super easy to get in touch with them. Somebody picked up basically straight away. She was super helpful. She cleared up the problem very, very quickly and she even took my order again over the phone. Another thing that I really like that I pay attention to because I, I went the benefit route and there was even a code to get like a free brow product, which I think is cool just to get little freebies from these companies anyways. And I'm thinking, man, if I order over the phone, I'm not gonna get those freebies, but she actually mentioned it. The freebies that I got were the Gold Digger little bag. This is quite neat because it's a cloth bag. I think it's still going on at the moment. And then you get a brow bow conditioning primer so I haven't tried this I'm gonna get in there and give it a go at some point and the poor professional um, primer which again I haven't tried somebody is trying to get in touch with me so I'm gonna start with my personal favorite color I hope I'm not giving too much away here but this is the mini pink squad palette each product contains 2.5 grams of product which if I believe so is the is half of the size of a full of a full size product. So I don't think it's a bad deal. You can still get your brush in here very comfortably. You get California Blush, Tickle Highlighter, which is a palette exclusive. It's not sold separately yet. And the Dandelion Blush. It is very dinky and cute. It's nice and slim and it is overall travel friendly. You get a nice little size mirror there. One thing that I noticed straight away is the smell of these products. They smell really good. I'm not talking like Too Faced kind of smells like chocolate deal. We're talking like sunscreeny, summery. It actually smells really, really, really nice. So you get the California Blush, which is like this kind of orangey pink coral, and then it's got a reflective gold to it. But I know that initially when I used it, it kind of had an overspray of gold. Again, you just kind of brush it away with your brush and it's gone. Easy peasy. Then you've got the Tickle Highlighter. Now initially this looks really pink in the pan, but it's almost got more of a gold reflect to it. It's not bad, it's still a really nice highlighter, but it makes it a little bit more inclusive to a skin tone. I think if you're any fairer than me, it's not really gonna work too well. And then you've got the Dandelion Blush, which looks matte, but if you look at it really, really closely, it's almost got like a satin kind of finish to it. So I really like that, that about Dandelion. I think if anything, that would be my preference of blush because it's very subtle, it's not too glittery, it's not too highlighter, and then it's not too flat matte. 
I'm gonna swatch California just, just so you guys can see the pigmentation of it. So this is the California blush. You get a decent amount of pigment there, but it's nothing like, whoa, bam, you kind of got to rub away at it a little bit to get that, but it is a really nice kind of summery coral. So I'm going to go in with Dandelion. This so far has actually been my favorite blush. I do really like it because it's a really soft kind of muted baby pink. It's very, very classic of a blush shade. So this is Dandelion. So again, it's very, very subtle, but it's got quite a nice mauve kind of undertone to it. So it's dandelion, very soft, very silky. And then we're gonna go in with Tickle, which has kind of been, you know, the main stars of these new palettes are these um, highlighters that haven't been released individually. So this is Tickle, and you guys can see as it glows. Wow, baby. Okay, so can you guys see that? There's a real solid gold shift to it. It came off more kind of goldy, not overly pinky. I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more like subtly pink because I really love pink highlighters, but I didn't quite get the pizzazz out of that highlighter that I wanted. Blushes again aren't bad. You just kind of have to build them up. They're not the kind of blush that's going to give you automatic pigment. You do have to build them up. So I think overall, it's a good route to go with this if just what you're after is blushes because even adding on Dallas, it's not overly blushy if you know what I mean. Okay so moving on to the mini bronze squad. This is a good idea for you bronze goddesses out there. I am not really a bronze goddess. I try and keep my life very pink because it's filled with boys. I'm pregnant with my third boy so it's like well boy overload. I have got the bronze squad here. This is the mini. The full size comes with off the top of my head I think it comes with Hula Bronzer, the original Gold Rush Blush, the Cookie Highlighter, uh, Hula Caramel Coralista. I think from, if my memory serves me correctly, I researched the crap out of these just to really, really figure out which ones I wanted to purchase. So in the Bronze Squad you have, again, same setup, three mini size pans. They range from 25 grams to four grams. They are half the size of the full size product, but again, it's still comfortable enough to get your brush in there. It's the same size, like it's comfortable enough to use with a regular size brush. Okay, so first of all, you've got the Gold Rush Blush. Now this color I was really intrigued with because I'm like, is it a coral? Is it a mauve? Like, what is going on with this thing? Okay, so initially when you get it, it does have a gold overspray to it. You kind of have to really rub away at it to get rid of it. When you look at it now, it's a real nudie peach mauve. I, 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 it's really hard to detect any kind of pink in it because it comes off more nudie and peachy, but then it's got like that deeper undertone of mauve. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch it. Again, all these products are really soft, really creamy. This one is Gold Rush. This one in particular is quite sheer, like you don't get a whole lot of color payoff. It's got, it's almost got a sheen to it, which, ma which makes it even more sheer than what I'm used to for a, bl for a blush. Hula Bronzer did surprise me. It is kind of like the golden bronzer of YouTube. Again, I've never used it before, so I always stick with my like Too Faced bronzers. I'm pretty boring, but you know, I'm just, love them. Hula has got a really nice warm undertone so even though it looks quite neutral in the pan it can still suit a lot of skin tones because it's got that warmth to it so I was really impressed with this and it does give more of like a nice summery kind of tanned look so this was this was what people say it is. It, got, it had nice pigment to it, it blended out really well and it was very smooth creamy and a really nice shade. And then you've got the, the infamous cookie highlighter. I'm sure you guys have seen this floating around YouTube. This is kind of the reason why a lot of people wanted this palette. The cookie highlighter, again, is limited edition to this palette and the, and the main Bronze Squad palette. So in the pan, at first glance, it kind of looks like a champagne. It's not really champagne. I would call it more of like a nudie, a nudie white. Like it's got, it's got a hint of gold into it, but to me it's more nude. It feels so smooth, so buttery, and let's just see how it goes on. And guys, look at that shine. What? Like, that is reflective like nothing else. So the Cookie Highlighter really is a winner for me in this palette. I also really did like Hula. 
these were the two reasons why I wanted to get this palette and not the full kind of bronze. It's not like I need another bronzer, guys. You guys have seen my videos on bronzers. I have enough. I just really wanted to try her like Gold Rush was a little bit of a letdown, I'm not gonna lie. And saying that I have not used it with a more dense brush, and I found that I really had to just keep pressing in, packing on, pressing in, packing on. And it took term, it took, took longer than what it should for a blush for me. Blush is usually quite a quick ordeal. At the moment I am wearing the two blushes out of the pink squad. I am wearing Dandelion and California, but I put California on earlier, so by now it's kind of washed away a little bit. And now I've just got Dandelion sitting on top, blended in with Hula around the perimeters of my face. So Hula really is a beautiful bronzer. Gold Rush out of the six shades in these two palettes was kind of a letdown for me, which is a total bummer because the shade of it is beautiful. Can you see how I've just kind of had to dig away at it? And that kind of sucks when you've got a new product and you can't get the pigment that you want out of it. So maybe the intention of this was to have a buildable blush, but for me it wasn't my cup of tea. Out of the two palettes, I would say it's kind of a toss up and I'm glad I did it this route because I really do like half of this and half of this if you know what I mean. My ideal palette, like let's just say I could put my put together my own benefit palette. My ideal palette would have Hula, Cookie and Dandelion. I really like Dandelion. So which one is my favourite? It's kind of hard to decide. I think if anything I'm going to use two shades out of three more out of this palette. I'm going to go for Hula and Cookie. Gold Rush can still be used, it's just very sheer and if your skin is any darker than mine you're going to get it, you're going to have a hard time getting it to show up. This has got the real beautiful Dandelion which was kind of the winner in it for me. Like, like oh, it almost, it almost matches my shirt. So I kind of wish that they had just I don't know, Rethought Gold Rush, it's not the winner in this palette, the other two are, so yeah, if anything I would reach for the Bronze Squad more, even though I know I wouldn't go for the full size, but this still was a great palette. This is beautiful if you just like pinks and blushes in general. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, I hope that you guys got something out of it, I hope that this helps you guys decide. When I'm trying to decide on what to purchase, I go through all the videos on YouTube possible and I want to see exactly what people are thinking. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. See you later.